What's up everyone? Matt Father here with another exciting backyard baseball video. We are currently in the semifinals, I guess, the uh, division or conference or league, whatever, finals of the consolation tournament. Scheduled to be playing against the Angels once again. We've already played them in this consolation tournament. And we're supposed to be playing at Ekman Acres, I believe. Need to turn off some of this extra stuff. And get into our game. It is, in fact, at Ekman Acres. And we're once again considered the away team. So, we've played this, game, this team pretty recently. And are trying to advance to the actual finals of the consolation tournament. So, a win today. And we do so, and we would still have two chances to win in the finals, because we would have been undefeated through the league, at the, or through, yeah, our, our side of the bracket, basically. Um, but we'll see if we're actually able to do that. I don't particularly love playing at Ekman Acres. Um, Lineup-wise, going back to the same one that has been working fairly well lately. Uh, Cindy, uh, Barbara Nancy, and then defensively, same idea. Uma at third, Kathy at second, Wing in center, I think, is my best bet there. Nancy on the mound, just got behind the plate. Mark at first base, Uma and Jane out to right. Wing and center, Cindy and left. So this is, I think, what we've been rolling with lately. I haven't played in a little while at this point, but excited to have this other matchup with the Angels. We are a different team last season, struggled against a totally different Angels team at this field last season. Um, you know, theoretically, they have this weak link of Gary Allen out in right field in this spacious outfield, but Juan Gonzalez covers a lot of ground and can throw the ball pretty well. I mean, not a lot of ground, but quite a bit of ground. And has a great arm and it's just a good player. Alexis does not have a great arm, but does cover quite a bit of ground out in the left. And pretty solid infield, slow but Sherrod at third. Fast but weak arm Olga at second base. Good all around. Marty Cordova at shortstop. And a nice defensive and offensive pitcher catcher duo of Jose Canseco and Raul Mondesi. So, that's the team we're playing today. And uh, let's see how we do get into this one. So, if we can defeat our opponent's score against my team in this one, we will be moving on to the Constellation Finals. If we lose, we'll have one more chance in a similar situation, playing the Angels once again at Ekman and Walls again. So, I'd prefer to just win this one and not have to try again, but backyard baseball does not always cooperate with those desires, especially when we're playing against other human opponents. You never know what their performance is like. Jose is peppering Jane with some difficult to interpret hooks so far. Jane goes down to a one and two count. It's about hard on the ground. And it goes kind of right at Olga, unfortunately. So even with her weak arm, she can make the throw from second to first and start our game off on the wrong foot. Kathy whiffs at a hook that was on the outside corner and was just uh, trying to get lucky and pull it with her. Pops that one up, but thankfully out of play. Behind the plate, and is down 0 and 2 here against Jose. And yeah, that's ball. Dang it. Alright, not a great start so far, but. Let's see if uh, Wing Kwan can get on base for Mark McGuire after him. Should at least have a much 
less of a chance of striking out. And again, if Jose is going to pitch like that, not a whole lot I can do about it. Nice hook, low and inside for a strike. Wing does hit that one at Jose. Ugh. Thought I had it sprinting to first, but Beatty was playing a long ways off the bag for some reason. I don't know why she was so far back, but Ugh. rough one, two, three inning to start things off. And Mark's going to be leading off in the top of the second with nobody on. So, unideal all around. Olga makes solid contact towards shortstop, but it is caught by Barbara. First out of the game. First out of our side of things, at the very least. Brings up Mondesi, batting second for the Angels. That one's, oh, that is a strike. Okay, nice pitch from Nancy. 0-2 on Mondesi. He hits it hard on the ground, fielded by Uma. She cannot make the play at first. So a single first hit of the game for either team. And has a runner on base for Juan Gonzalez, which is not what we want defensively. Monsi is going to try to steal. He is. He beats the throw. Um, <laughs> I, I hate throwing a throw out base dealers. Just derp around clicking. And I know they can't make the throw without moving forward a little bit, so I try to move forward and then I struggle to actually get the cursor all the way up to second and make the throw. I think I'm just uh, <laughs> a little too uncoordinated. Backyard baseball in general, maybe just life in general. You strike out one, so one part of the threat averted, averted. But Jose now up at the plate. Too late on a hook from Nancy on the first pitch. Strike one. Strike two on a hook. Inside, going back outside. Say so pulls it foul. Yeah, I think I'm sticking with outside. I don't know. Could be totally wrong. Ooh, Nancy misses outside with that one, unfortunately. Try back low and inside again. And Jose goes down swinging. Got in a little bit of a jam there with Mondesi, but we do get out of it. No runs allowed. Struck out a couple of big hitters of the Angels. And start things off with a big hitter of our own, Mr. Martin McGuire. And he crushes it. Actually, yeah, it's gone. So the home run, unfortunately. Really would have liked to have or more of my leadoff speedsters on base, but we will take that run for sure. Up to a one nothing lead here. And still no outs. And Jessica, what's her name, at the plate. Jessica is going to beat the throw to first. Jose's got a good arm. I don't know why he wasn't trying to throw it. A little bit harder than that. But we'll take it. And try to get lucky with uh, Cindy Ching at the plate. I think that's high. It is. Try to somehow pull like Christina off the base at first. Let's catch the outside corner with the second pitch to go to one and one. Wasn't really anything I wanted to do with that one with Cindy, so. Fouls off pitch low and inside to go to one and two. I think I switched to ground or swing here. Try to stay alive. Say so it goes to the fireball, but misses inside, thankfully. Tries again, I'm probably just going to strike out. 
Full count for Cindy, though. And Jessica on first. Level walk here. I think that was going to be a strike. Cindy actually makes pretty good contact. They are going to get Jessica out at first, though. We're all made a good play. And didn't overthrow Olga or anything. So, no real chance at a double play, but they do get the lead runner, unfortunately. So, it'll count as a hit for Cindy. More like a fielder's choice in reality. Nice high and inside strike for the fastball from Jose. Pitching to Uma Morris. And that quickly goes down to 0 and 2. Cindy standing on first. We are going to switch to a line drive with two strikes on Uma. Makes good contact out into the outfield. Man, Alexis fielded that great out in the left field. Uh, made a throw to second and got Cindy. I was not expecting that. Another fielder's choice. Yeah, figured Cindy was fast enough, and Alexis is not known for her throwing arm, but. Had a really nice play out in left field. And it's probably going to lock us down in this inning. Let's see what Barbara can do here with Uma as the lead runner. Need a pretty good hit somewhere. Maybe out into right field. Two and one count for Barbara after a couple of the obvious balls thrown by Jose. Looks like another one there. Yep. 3-1, two outs in the inning. And then Barbara's going to draw a walk. Alright. So, we do have Nancy up here with our two runners on. Nancy's been pretty hit or miss all season, but does have a solid bat when she can make good contact. Starts off Taking the first pitch inside for ball one from Jose. Yeah, that was a strike. A little bit higher in the strike zone than I really want. So, ended up just taking it. Just barely misses inside with that one. Go to two and one for Nancy. Might have been a ball, honestly, but I just really love the feel of those outside pitches. Nancy hit hard up the middle. Marty makes a great throw to third. Gosh dang it. Thought Barbara getting second base was going to be enough, but uh, frustrating. Not, not a bad hit there from Nancy, but not as good as we were looking for either. And we are retired with just the one run from the Mark McGuire home run, despite some base runners. Alexis with bold bunt attempt and is thrown out pretty comfortably at first there. Marty Cordova up now for these angels. It hard right back to Nancy, who stops it, <laughs> falls down, eventually gets back up, finds the ball, and makes the throw to first for the second out. Pretty glad to not have anybody on base for Gary Allen here. It's Gary whiffs at a low and inside right hook for strike one. And we're going to be sticking with right hooks and basically this same spot. With Nancy here. Gary does take one pitch for a ball and goes to one and two. Puts solid wood on it, and I don't think. Well, neither of them get there initially, and I can't make this play at first. So long ish single for Gary. Out into the left center gap. Just got it right in between. Uh, Wing and Cindy, despite their speed. It's the kind of hit that I would like to get with some of my players, but 
hopefully be able to hold Christina here. That one got a little bit further away from me than I wanted. It's going to stay in play, but you know, it's going to come as a ground rule double. So two on here. Two outs, though. And Butch at the plate. Hopefully we can get out of this one. Butch whiffs at a first pitch hook. Miles off a second pitch hook. And same spot, same pitch. He's still in the wrong stance, and he whiffs. Nancy's third strike out of the game. Not pretty so far, but no runs at least. Allowed, I mean. I uh, need to get some more runs on the board on our side for sure here. Starting things off with Miss Jane Davis. We once again. Yeah, it would have been great to have her up at the end of last inning with a bunch of runners on, but I unfortunately got out and she did not have the chance. She is leading off for us here in the top of the third. Goes to a one and one count. And crushes it. Second run of the game. Once again, off of a solo home run. That one was pretty much a no-doubter. 389 feet from Jane. Go up 2 to nothing, but we need to uh, get some runners on base at the right time in this one. Kathy beats out a single. Not a great hit, and with the first base person being closer to the bag, she could have easily been out there, but took Raw a little too long to, or took Christina, sorry, a little too long to actually get to the ball, or get to the bag. And so Kathy was able to beat the hit out in that manner. This wing is quickly at a 0 and 2 count against Jose here. Needs to choke up and just make contact. Yeah, that's pretty much what we were looking for. We do get Kathy to second safely. Probably used up a decent amount of stamina with our sprinting and sliding. Yeah, a little bit at least. Hopefully, nothing too severe. Big old Mark McGuire back up at the plate. Takes the first pitch from his. Bash brother Jose for a ball. It's a ball as well. It's tempted, but a little too high above the strike zone. So 2 0 oh here for Mark. And as a strike, a little bit lower than I wanted. I was tempted though. Meanwhile, well, only two runs, but the uh, Angels are making a switch. Beatty coming on to pitch here. Misses just outside. We mark to a three in one count. No, misses just inside to load the bases for Jessica. Not perfect situation, but we're gonna go for a line drive swing. We're okay with Mark getting out, trying to get to second, but I'm hoping to hit it into the outfield and score a run or two. Nice first pitch from Christina for a strike, but misses with her second hook for the ball. One and one for Jessica. I think that's the ball. It is. I'm going to walk. It is awkward here, but acceptable. Jessica hits it well. It does get past Marty. Oh, it gets past Alexis as well. Everyone is safe, and we score two on the signal into the outfield. Mark is almost definitely going to get out in this situation with Cindy at the plate. I'm going to try to 
hit it towards yep. third if we can as I swing at a pitch above the strike zone. Won't do that again. A walk would of course be the best way for Mark to actually reach third successfully, but I will accept his sacrifice if needed. One and two, we are going to choke up with the rounder swing, but Cindy does go down on strikes. So we do still have Mark as the lead runner, unfortunately. But Emma Morris at the plate is certainly a home run threat if she can get a good pitch to hit. Ooh, that was a pretty good pitch to hit. A little higher in the strike zone than I wanted and ended up curving further outside, and yeah, it's going to come in for a strike. Oh no, this is high. That's good. One and one for Uma. Fouls one off. Um, I think with Mark as lead runner, I stay power. No, yeah, we'll switch line drive. Maybe I can get a pitch outside. And drive it towards right. Nope, too far towards center. Hopefully we don't get doubled up here. Juan's actually going to drop it, and everyone's going to be safe. Hmm. Good piece of hitting from Uma. I mean, nothing amazing, but gets everyone on base. And brings up Barbara with bases loaded and one out. And yeah, that was a good pitch. Probably needed open stance, I think. And a little bit better on the timing. I think that's low. Nope, catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Quickly down 0 and 2 here for Barbara. And it's outside. <sighs> I'd really like to have some more runs in. That one's going to hang in the air for too long, I think. Juan cannot make the catch once again, and with Alexis still the thrower, do get Jessica all the way around from second to home. So we score two on a error from Juan Gonzalez. It's four angels, or especially Juan. That's just unlucky. Um, hitting it pretty much right to him. All right, so Uma is our lead runner. Barbara on first, one out in the inning. And thanks to some luck, we are up 6 nothing now. Do get Barbara thrown out at second on that actually pretty legitimate single into the center that time. But we move um, Uma up to third. And we'll see what this pitch is, but we're going to send Nancy tentatively. I'll take that. Uh, could have made it, actually. Ronald flubbed his throw, but got scared and turned Nancy. <laughs> so we uh, lost our actual chance to steal there. Okay, that does just barely miss high to Jane. So 2-0. Another one that's going to miss high. She has green light to swing even with a 3 and 0 count. That one came much further inside than I was prepared for. I had switched to open. Might have been a nice hit down the right field line. Looks like a walk. So, not ideal with uh, Kathy up next, but. Just gonna try to put the ball in play somewhere where these angels can't do anything with it. Try to drive in some more runs. That one does catch the top part of the strike zone pretty convincingly. So strike one on Kathy. Ooh, she goes the other way with it. It does not get past Olga. And <laughs> Jane cannot beat Olga to the bag. That is really nice defense from Olga. Wow. Um, I 
Maybe should have been considering her with the Goldie Glove, at least for her. I don't remember how she did against me in my other games against the Angels this season, honestly, but man, that was a really nice play. Just to get to that ball. Honestly, Kathy hit it really well. Um, kind of opposite from her stance. But Olga started from like second base, made the play on the ball, and was smart enough to go make or try to go touch second base to get the out instead of using her weak arm to try to get the ball anywhere. That was a there was some definitely some bad luck from Juan Gonzalez out in center, but that one definitely saved some runs as well. All right, got up to six runs again. Mostly thank to, thanks to Juan dropping it out in center. And we'll have Wing Kwan and Mark McGuire up to start things off in the fourth for us. It's a bit higher than I wanted it to be, but Juan just hits a hard grounder to Uma at third. Pretty easily makes the play. And the side is retired with not too much difficulty. So Wing Kwan stepping in against Christina. It's that one a bit shorter than we would have liked, but it looks like it's going to take Jose too long to get to first, thanks to his reduced juice, stamina, whatever. So, pretty weak hit from Wing. First base person on the bag, wing would have been out, but we all had to wait too long, and Mark makes them pay with his second homer of the day. This time with a runner on, and we go up eight to nothing. Nice swing from Mark there. Nice fat pitch from Christina down the middle of the plate. Ooh, and now we have. Christina playing shortstop with Marty Cordova coming in to pitch. And with the present situation, we're pretty happy with Jessica trying to hit a grounder to Christina. She makes a terrible throw to first, but took too long with Jessica's solid speed and Marty coming over from pitcher spot to cover. That was a little funny as well. Cindy at the plate, gonna try to pull it towards first. This is an interesting spot. Yeah, everyone's safe. Nice hit from Cindy. Nobody there covering first. Jose came in too far. It took Marty too long. And two runners on for Uma Morris here. So tempted by that pitch, but. Wisely took it. A little high, a little outside. Ball one. one looks low, and it is. It's two and O oh for Uma here. Oh. Yeah, that one does catch. Low and inside corner for strike number one. Not a great pitch to hit. By any means, as Marty then misses low for you know, a three and one count for Uma. We're okay with a walk here if it comes to it. That one is going to be an out because it goes foul. And thankfully, we get Cindy back in time. Honestly, yeah, it was close to like what we needed for Uma. You had to pop it a little further out into right field, somewhere between Jose and Gary, and have the ball stay fair, of course. But first out of the inning, brings up Barbara Jones, still two runners on. Fouls off the first pitch. Oh, gets called for an infield fly on that. I don't know about that one. I wasn't going to get caught. Oh, 
love the call, but it's all right. Second out of the inning. Nancy Chin up at the plate. Takes the first pitch for the ball, for a ball. Sorry. That one, too. Goes to 2 and 0. Oh. Walk or a solid hit be perfect here. That one is going to be a strike, but tough to hit on that high inside corner. So we will be patient instead. Uh, nice pitch on the outside corner, or not really on the corner, but on the outside part of the strike zone. That's low, right? Marty, got me with some hooks. Really don't like hooks. So we were poised for a huge inning there. Two runners on, nobody out at one point, but that's the way it goes. Okay, a little unlucky. Had some good luck earlier on. Really just balances out over time, I think. And we're still going to have six more outs in this one. As Jose lines it right to Mark McGuire for the first out of the inning. Mostly been impressed with Mark. Mark's first base playing abilities. If that makes sense. Solid defensive first base person despite his low speed. Alexis Weiss at the plate. He hits it hard on the ground. Looks like Nancy is going to pretty easily make the play, and she does. Much more than in real life, I do value backyard baseball and first base defense pretty highly. Smart first baseman that stays close to the bag, honestly, is one of the biggest things. Don't usually want my first base person to try to go after the ball every time. That's uh, Homer, Marty. Clanks off the fence, off the screen. It is a homer for Marty. So we allow our first run of this one, unfortunately. Yeah, it's bound to happen at some point. Be more careful pitching to Gary Allen here. Quickly goes down 0 oh, 2 from a couple right hooks. And just hits a little dribbler back to Nancy. Who makes the throw to Mark for the third out. And we're starting things off with Jane Davis as our leadoff batter, unfortunately. I'd rather have some runners on for her. It's just me, but I really <laughs> cannot seem to hit the ball to right field. Gary Allen has not been a liability there. Oh, I hit it to right field. It's a home run, though. <laughs> it's a little shot from Jane Davis. Her second of the game to catch back up to Mark McGuire. 333 feet for Jane there. We'd, uh, we'd rather have people on base for that, like I was saying, but a run is a run. Marty's going to miss outside to Kathy with his first pitch to her. He's going to foul off the second pitch. I'm always surprised by Kathy's batting average. Like it, I mean, I think it should be higher with her speed and everything, but also with how I've done with her, I always felt like it should be lower. Should be a pretty easy single there, and it is. Just trying to get it to Christina at short, but Butch honestly made a pretty good play there. Just still didn't quite have enough time to throw out the speedy Kathy. Wing whiffs of the pitch, low and down the middle. But that's a strike anyways. Just trying to push it once again towards third and short. That one's going to stay a little too close to Marty, but Olga. <laughs> I would like to revoke my previous statement about her success on defense, as she cannot catch the throw from Marty. And so we get Kathy to second safely. 
<laughs> I'd like that pitch back with Mark, but he just fouls it back. Two for two with two bombs so far today. Got too excited on that one as well, and we are down 0 and 2. Got two runners on. One, I think, is high. Yep. Thankfully. Here comes the one-two pitch from Marty. And Mark goes deep for his third time today. This time with two runners on. I believe the first one was a solo shot. The second one was with one runner on. So uh, just need a grand slam to go for the home run cycle. Jessica Wasser Sauce at the plate. Three for three today. Mostly coming up in these low pressure situations so far today, thanks to all of Mark's homers. So, just trying to have her ground it towards the left side of the field and beat the throw for a single. And if she can do that, then she'll have a hit. Best way to put it. Nice pitch from Marty on um, the outside part of the strike zone. Takes Jessica to a two and one count. Still don't really see a reason to change our strategy here. As Marty misses outside, so we're at three and one. Nobody on and nobody out. Definite strike there. Jessica fouls back. Up to a full count here. Pitch from Marty. Might have been a ball. Jessica does well to foul it back and stay alive. Yeah, Jessica hits that. Not really where we wanted it. And Olga. Nice play at second. So a little hit and miss, but she covers a lot of ground. And doesn't need to have a strong throw when. She's only a few feet away from the bag, but I don't think Jose could have made that play on his own. So, good job by her. Cindy is down to an 0 and 2 count after a whiff and fouling one back. Switch to a grounder swing. Try to swing at any strikes we get. That one misses inside for a ball, though. Thought that one got around her bat, but she does just barely tip it behind home plate. Stay alive once again. Fouls off a elevator. Stay alive once again. And puts the ball in play in fair territory. Not beat the throw to first. Good effort, though. Well, only one hit for her in this one, but that's okay. Up 12 to 1 here in the top of the fifth. Uma Morris at the plate once again. Two outs in the inning. That was off the first pitch for a strike. Nobody on base for her, so no pressure, Uma. Yeah, she just stayed clo or open on that one. Down 0 and 2. Switch to a line drive stance. Does well to foul that one off. I decided right at the last second that it was probably a strike and I should try to swing at it. Uh, puts that in play, but foul just barely. Would have been good enough for a single there if it was fair. It's one too early, I think, and then that hook, and then foul it back. And staying alive, but not really making progress either. <laughs> Same thing there on a hook from Marty that yeah, I think was catching the outside part of the strike zone. 
Uh, Uma goes down on strikes. Definite strike, but pretty low in the strike zone, and just didn't, uh, didn't make any contact on it. So we do add four to the board in the fifth. Be leading things off with um, Barbara. Oh. Speaking of Barbara, easy play for her um, from the first batter of the inning. Here comes Christina. Bring up Butch. Nobody on and one out in the bottom of the fifth. It's it right back to Nancy. Easy play for her to mark. For our second out, that'll bring Olga up for her third time. Lobbing some slow balls into her, and she fouls off the first pitch for a strike. Tries a bunt on the second pitch. Fielded fairly comfortably by Nancy for the third out. So last chance for us. Any more outs to try to put some more runs on board, but not a bad showing at Ekman Acres. Mm, that one went much further outside than I was thinking. Big whiff for a strike. And I think was going to stay in the strike zone. Nice catch by Mondesi. Quite as patient as I should be here, I think. Mm, that's a pitch. Fouls it back, anyways. One, one for Nancy. One out, nobody on. Marty came in and it's just strong relief appearance here. For the most part, I guess I've clobbered a few homers too. But. Still left Gary Allen untested out in right field. Have a pull hit here from Nancy. Not on that pitch though. As well to foul it off with her one contact. So a lot of spots in the field of play that are likely to be hits. Nancy goes down on strikes though. I thought that was low, and it was not. Jane Davis with two outs now. Nobody on for Jane once again. Jane hits it towards right. Luckily, didn't try to start sneaking towards second as Marty made a diving stop at it. Get Jane on though, and Kathy up next. Read the big freeze properly there, but fouled it back instead of well, hitting it fair. Ooh, that one does catch the outside part of the strike zone, and we are down to our last strike here, with Kathy. does pretty well. And we get Jane to second safely. Keep the inning alive. Have to get a little lucky with where Wing hits this. Try a line drive swing, I think. Solid pitch, but fouled back by Wing. Uh, not confident enough in my clicking abilities to start sending the runners. Wing can get on. We will get past Marty. Everyone's safe. Mark McGuire has a chance to go for the home run cycle. One of each type of home run in the game. Got this, Mark. I believe in you. I'm pretty sure that's where we're at, at least. It'd be funny if I was wrong. 
Nice first pitch from Marty. Not really something I wanted to swing at. Nice second pitch from Marty. Oh, it goes inside, thankfully. Thought I was going to be down to two strikes there, but I'll take that ball for sure. It's also a ball. Two and one for Mark. I'm surprised at no pitching change. I think he did it. Grand Slam! Mark McGuire! Love to see that. Fourth home run of the game from Mark McGuire. Easy MVP of the game. <laughs> 420 feet. Even better. Great, great event from Mark McGuire there. Very proud of his performance today. This is a 16 to 1 lead. I have to watch my own replay at some point, but uh, you know, based on the stats there, four homers, 10 RBIs, I believe I'm correct about it. I don't think he walked, I don't think anyone scored off his walk, but I could be wrong. Regardless, a great performance from Mark McGuire. And. No, we're, we're definitely happy with this score. We finally test. We did. We finally tested Gary out and right. It's a pretty good throw in. Yeah, to keep going. Turn around. Uh, we got Jessica out. <laughs> That's all right. Good job, Gary. You survived your test. Not that terrible of a right fielder after all. Let's uh, try to limit the damage of the angels here on their side of things. It's doing well so far. Gets raw to a 0 and 2 count. It's a hard ground ball to Uma at third, and Uma flubs the throw first time. She made that throw the first time. She probably would have had it, but leadoff single for Mondesi. I kind of expect a steal from him once again, but we'll see. Just kidding. One is gonna put the ball in play. And ooh, we almost turned two on a play. A ball hit to the left field. Pretty speedy runners at that, but not quite make the throw from Barbara to first in time to get one. We will take the fielder's choice there. We only have one runner on, the two with Jose Canseco at the plate. Nancy picks up her fifth strikeout, and Angels are down to their last out. Alexis at the plate. Miles back, first pitch hook. Whiffs at a second pitch hook. What about is Nancy's fireball? Yeah, pretty solid. We're gonna try it. And too slow with her swing, his Alexis, I should say. Nancy's sixth strikeout, and a... Solid 16 to 1 lead. We obviously, we did get some help from the Angels defense. But no, I think we still did pretty well swinging the bat. And score to be happy with, regardless of how the Angels did on their side of things. Obvious player of the game, Mark McGuire. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. And we'll uh, see if we need another game against the Angels or if we are moving on to the the finals.